Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. It's going to be the first update to my whole collection, Project Pan. This project was created by Becky Loves Kanga, and this is the third year in a row that I am doing this project, and I have tweaked it along the way to make it suit my needs a little bit more, this year being no exception. This year I have kind of combined the Project 10 Uses Roulette style with this project pan to help me rotate through my collection a little bit better. I had considered just completely doing Project 10 Uses Roulette style, but the group we've gathered doing the whole collection project pan seemed really excited to do it again this year, and I definitely wanted to keep collabing and participating with them because it's been so fun watching so many more creators doing this project. You can definitely watch their videos in the playlist that I have linked down below and also use the hashtag whole collection project pan over on Instagram. Before hopping in to my updates, do you hear that? Silence. Whoa, when was the last time that happened on? Couldn't have been worse timing. Okay, now that I've turned the furnace off, silence. My... <sighs> wow, this is... I'm leaving all that in because this is really something else. What I was trying to say is, wow, it's really quiet because my wonderful husband took the hooligans out for a drive to allow me to film a handful of videos and I am so, so thankful for that. So now that I've shut off the furnace, the sump, whatever, pump is done. Maybe we can have a quiet filming session and you guys won't hear the elephants above my head. Wow, that was a roller coaster. Okay, like I mentioned, I have combined Project 10 uses in the whole collection Project Pan meeting. I have five out of my 10 products that I just want to use 10 times and roll out, and then five of my 10 products I want to either hit pan on or use up, or I haven't completely ruled out usage goals, but they need to be like really challenging ones, like, you know, 50 uses or something like that, depending on what the product is, of course. So I have my little notepad here. I'm going to start off with the products that I have the goal to use 10 times. I did not meet the 10 uses mark on any of them, which I I feel like that's okay. So first, um, I pulled in my Smashbox Cali Contour Palette, specifically the bronze highlighting shade, which I was kind of bummed about because this is the one shade in this whole palette that is not suited to my skin tone. So I will have to use this as an eyeshadow, which I only did one time. Um, it is just a kind of sheer bronzy color and I'm working on mostly, or I'm focusing on cool toned eyeshadows uh, right now with my other projects. Um, with the exception of today, this is kind of a Valentine's Day look that I did. But anyways, only one use on this guy here. Then from my Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighting Palette, the third shade in here got drawn in, which is a really cool, like peachy to purpley duo chrome. It's really hard to describe. Like there it looks kind of purple and then you can see the peach flip to it. Really interesting. I did wear this on my cheekbones one time and on my eyes one time. So two uses on this one. Again, I chose these ones because there's no way I'm going to hit pan on products like these. I pulled in the Winky Lux Kitten Palette. I just wanna use the entire palette 10 times, whether that's for one shade or I create a whole look out of this, and I have used this three times so far. Um, I've been really enjoying using this kind of purpley blue duochrome and then this um, deep mauve kind of shade to go with uh, Makeup Geek Prom Night that is in my Pan Those Eyeshadows. So I don't think, 
Oh, and I think I've used these warmer tones as well. This has a really interesting wintry color story, and I hope a couple of the uses of the 10. I will just create a full look from this palette because I do enjoy it so much. I'd love to reach into this blue shade before the next update. Um, I think... Can I reach the 10 uses on this for next update? I think I could if I really focused on it, but we'll talk about goals later on. I have the Finding Ferdinand lipstick in the shade Knob Hill Red. This was gifted to me by Callie from Callie Fab. So thank you again, Callie. It is the lipstick I'm wearing today. It is a really pinky red shade. I'm gonna swatch it even though it is on my mouth right now. And this is really beautiful. I really need to exfoliate my lips, so don't look too closely at it, but it is such a beautiful shade. It's creamy without feeling like it's going to slip around too much, and I have used this two times, which for one, less than a month, um, I'm feeling really good about for such a bold lip color. And lastly, for the 10 uses portion of this project, I have in my Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stone, and I have used this one, I have two tallies, I think it was three times, so I'll just go with two. Who cares if it's 10 or 11 uses in total? Um, it is a mauve liquid lipstick. I really enjoy this liquid lipstick formula, but because it is a full size, doesn't have a ton of use on it from me. I mean, I've definitely reached for it quite a bit, but in terms of like finishing a full size liquid lipstick, I don't think that's going to happen. So 10 uses and then roll something out. I feel really good with that. So two out of 10 so far. Now hopping in to the five products I hope to either hit pan on or use up. First up, I have the Makeup Forever Liquid Lipstick in the shade 105. I only used this one time. This is so deep. I do hope to finish this. It is one of the only remaining non-cruelty-free liquid lipsticks in my collection, and it is a mini, so I would feel really accomplished if I was able to finish it. Upon first swatch, it looks very close. I mean, a bit more cool toned than Dose of Color Stone. I'm gonna let this dry down and then you will really see how truly deep this is. And it's not a favorite formula of mine. This is going to be a struggle to finish, but I'm gonna try my best. Another lip product, a lot of lip products got pulled. I don't know if I'm going to bring back my um, only two per category rule. I thought it would be okay with the 10 uses, still feeling okay, but we will see. This is the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Beach Babe. It is a peachy nude. I only used this once because again, I've just been panning more cool tones and this definitely goes with more warm tone looks. And I have so many lip products. You know, the beginning of the year, I really kind of bounced around across all of my projects. I threw everything in my everyday makeup drawer and just had fun playing. Now this month, now that we have like first updates are under our belt or like they will be throughout the month, I really want to narrow my focus on specific products per project to really focus on and knock out. And this, I just, like I said, I only used one time. So that's kind of a bummer. I do hope to finish this. I did mark it, but because I only used it one time, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to make a new line on my paper. The NYC Sun in Bronze in the shade uh, Montauk Bronze. I don't think I used this a single time. I have two other bronzers in projects in my uh, The Panners pan, and then also Wyatt chose in two bronzers in my Kids Choose My Makeup Shop My Stash video. So I've just had, you know, I think five or six bronzers are in my everyday makeup drawer right now, and that's a lot for me. So. I was really focusing on a different bronzer to hit my goal on that before it becomes too light for me. And I think this would be really great for the springtime because it is still a light bronzer. Actually, like not a lot of pigment is coming up on this at all. It is light, but it has some nice warmth to it. I don't know if you can really tell. 
All that's to say is I hope to meet my goal before spring on the other one and then I'll be able to use this one more or at all. Next up I have a sample lip gloss. In my makeup inventory I have everything from full size deluxe size samples to foil packs. I have everything in there and luckily I drew in a mini buxom gloss. This is in the shade Serena and I did successfully finish this. These take me about a week to use up and I mean as you can see it is empty so that means I will be able to roll in one new product and it will have to go in my you know hit pan on or finish type of category which makes me a little nervous. I was kind of hoping to be able to have an empty and hit 10 uses on something kind of at the same time and then draw in two products and be able to choose which category I wanted it to go in. That's how it played out in my mind, but clearly that hasn't happened, but I do have one empty. And lastly, I have my Essie nail polish. This is the from the Gel Couture line. I've only used this two times. It was pretty much brand new and now it's like right at uh, the corner here. It was like up the neck of the bottle a bit. I did one manicure and one pedicure with this. It's a really great neutral like super light pink almost white kind of shade. I really enjoyed it on my fingers. It's on my toes right now and I think I will continue to love this kind of shade straight through the summer. I don't know if I can finish a whole bottle of nail polish like a brand new bottle. How many mils did I say this was? 13.5 mils or almost half a fluid ounce. That's a lot of nail polish. So even if it doesn't get finished, it's so classic and neutral that I don't care if it's in this project the entire year. Now it's time to draw a new product. I have in my pretty random app the numbers 2 to 483 because I still have my palette, I can't finish a palette. Uh, so I left out my eyeshadows from my numbers here. So let's see what we get. 172, I have no inkling of what that could possibly be. Uh, this part is like equally nerve wracking and exciting. Where am I? I just blew right past it. Oh, another lip product. It is a lip liner. Yikes, let me find that. Okay, I have found the lip liner. It is a ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade Taurus, which is a warm brown. Oh, it's like, okay, falling within the tube. It is a deep warm brown shade. And this is in my finish or hit pan on category. There's no way I'm going to finish this whole lip liner. Like I rarely use lip liner and it's also in a deep shade. However, I think it will go really well with a lipstick that's in my Partners in Cream project, which is nice. I'm torn between having my goal be to use up half of the pencil. So like I would actually measure you know, measure it and mark it on a piece of paper or 50 uses. I really don't. I'm going to let you guys chime in and I will have a firm goal in the next update for the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Taurus, which again is this deep warm brown. Should my goal be 50 uses or half the pencil. I feel like using half of it is equal to like hitting pan in a powder product. You know what I mean? Is that fair? And 50 uses, that's, that's a substantial amount of uses. I just, I don't know which one would come first. And I really would prefer to not be working on this for a million years. Although I'm sure I would get even more use out of it come the fall time which either way, it's going to be in the project for a really long time, but I'm gonna stop rambling about it. This is the next product I have in this project to work on. I'm not gonna lie, I'm 
feeling a little apprehensive about this one just because I don't use my lip liners very often. However, I need to be. So this is like one of those reasons why I love this project so much. I would have never chosen this product to be put into a project pan. It would have just eventually rotted away in my makeup collection and have been tossed in the garbage. I mean, I've reached for it, I have used it, but I would have never attempted to finish it off or like use a substantial amount of it, if that makes sense. So this is why I love this project. I continue to work on, I continue to make good progress on my entire, my whole collection, hence the name of this project. So let me know what you think is a fair goal on that one for next time. In terms of goals to meet before the next update, I would love to meet the 10 uses on this palette and be able to roll it out and get a new um, product in the 10 uses portion of this. That's kind of my goal across projects is to have at least one roll in per update and I think this is my best bet for the next update. Um, yeah, there's nothing else that I really think that I could have, you know, a substantial amount of progress on. More uses on this reddish pink shade because it is such a great shade for this season, this like Valentine's Day kind of season that we are in right now. I don't think I can hit 10 uses on this, but I would like to use it a handful more times for sure. And I just want to keep that going with all of these products, except for the bronzer. I am going to really focus on my other one that is a super light shade in a different project before reaching into this one. But just continue to use everything a handful of times and really try and get at least one roll in per update. I will feel really good about that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's project pan update. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!